This video is to educate merchants on how to view transactions, batches, and reports. Let's start with transactions. First, log into the iPospace portal. Click on Transactions. Here, you will find all the transactions in a single place. If you wish to view the transactions for a specific TPN or store, enter them in the search box. This will narrow down the list of transactions. Additionally, the filter icon here can help you in finding a transaction based on specific criteria. For example, you can use this filter to locate a transaction based on the cardholder's name. After retrieving the transaction, you can click here to view the transaction receipt. Both the merchant and customer copies are available. There are also a couple of options to download the receipt. If you wish to void or refund a transaction, click on Void. Then, click here. Now, if you do this before midnight in the Mountain Time Zone, on the day the transaction was made, it will be processed as void. If you do this after midnight, the transaction will be processed as a refund. To adjust the tip for a transaction after the batch has been settled, choose the transaction. Click More. Choose Additional Auth. Here, enter the amount you wish to add to the transaction. Click here to process the transaction. The entered amount will be automatically retrieved using the card details that were used for the previous transaction and it will be processed as additional auth. Remember, if you want to adjust the tip after settling the batch, you can only do it here. But if you want to adjust the tip before settling, you can only do so from an open batch. You can jump ahead to this section to see how it's done. To download the transaction report, enter the TPN or store name in the search box. Click on the action box. Select download. The transaction report will be downloaded as an Excel file. Now, let's see how to view batches. Click on batches. You can use this button to view an open batch and closed batch. To view the batch for a specific TPN or store, enter them in the search box. Then, click here to view the batch. If you wish to adjust the tip after a transaction, before the batch is settled, click on Tip Management. Choose Tip Adjust. Here, you can adjust the tip for each transaction. Please note that the total amount will change based on the amount you enter. Click here to adjust the amount. To settle the batch, click here. The batch is now settled. You can also click here to download the batch report. Now, to view a closed batch, click here. Then, click View Batch. The ability to download the batch report remains the same here as well. You can generate reports for tips and batches. If you want to generate a tip report for a certain time frame, watch our how-to video linked in the description below. To generate the batch report for a specific period of time, click on Reports, then Batch Report. The current batch must be settled because the data for the batch report is generated from closed batches. So, make sure to close the current batch. Choose the store from the drop-down menu. Select the start date and end date. If you have multiple TPNs under a single store, enter the TPN for which you wish to generate the batch report in this field. Click on Download to generate the report. The batch report will be downloaded as an Excel file. Thanks for watching.